Why, hello and good day. I hear everything that goes on here, but I don't know what the orphan children are talking about behind my back. I am not overdue for a facial waxing. At any rate, thank you for joining me as I'd love to be the first to welcome you to San Juan Orphanage. My name is Sister Morana, and even though I just turned 58 years young, I'm the lead nun at this mighty fine establishment. But don't think that I take my title lightly, especially since I've held this lead nun position for the past 15 years or so. In fact, I believe I'm leaving many and many everlasting impressions to all these orphan children who age out of my care. Ah, yes, the orphans. We house both boys and girls until their 18th birthday and we are very much located at the heart of a small village in Mexico called Delicias Chihuahua. I actually grew up here and decided to join the ministry when I was a young woman. I must say as I developed my personal relationship with God I knew back then this is what I was meant to do. I'm answering the call you know Yes, in fact, I take pride in shaping young boys and girls to become the bestest versions of themselves by the time they leave my care. Praise the Lord, sweet Jesus. That being said, I have to tell you, sometimes we, all the other sisters and myself, we must remind them children that we were all blessed and ordained by God to help them. Sometimes they, oh, sometimes the devil just gets up in them, but it is our job to make sure he doesn't stay in them forever. This is our duty, you see. Let's not forget who's in charge here in 1960 under my house rules. We do what we must to set each child straight back with the Lord. We do what is absolutely necessary to intervene that devil from taking over each innocent soul. Oh boy, I have sure done my fair share of soul saving and let me tell you, sometimes there's absolutely no other way. We are tasked by God to simply whip the devil out of anyone whom we see fit. It's our God-given right, you know? Yes, sir. Mm hmm I will leave you for now with some spiritual food. As the word says in Ephesians 4.27, do not give the devil a foothold. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Because if we allow the devil to take a foothold in these children, then he will make it a stronghold. And what does that mean exactly? Well, if we give Satan control a single little part of these children's lives, then he will take over. They will collapse under his control. You see, it's our job to make sure that none of that happens. Not on my watch anyway. I will not allow it. Now, thanks so much for joining me here today. Ciao.